Greetings, I am Pillar Nexus, the Ancient Gladiator, and today we are playing Stellar Conquest 2469. And it is slow as dirt, apparently. Probably from trying to run both of these things at the same time. Unregistered version, sadly. Oh, there we go. That's very slow. So yeah, this is a um, little galactic conquest game. Twelve. Let's make it interesting. It is human. So you can play with human and computer players. Um, let's make it kind of easy for that one. Yeah, let's just, yeah. Someday I will have the registered version in the future. But for now, let's just... Recycle. Make it interesting. Oh, there we go. We'll take it. So there will be the production phase. You'll have build points. Fighters, they're cheap. They die easily. You start with a lot of them. Destroyers are decent value for your stuff. There's cruisers. Battle cruisers and carriers. They're just starting to start missiles. You send them out, they go blow things up. So, let's start with a few extra destroyers and a couple extra fighters. Just because credits are used for technology. And you can buy things in multiples of. Anywhere from one, ten, hundred, or thousand. All right. Then the computer players do their stuff. The movement phase. And then we have the star map. I am blue player. There's green player. There's teal player. There's the game menu about end turn, load, save game. Stars. Star, and there's my own world place. So there's like Earth like planets. There's like asteroid like planets, jungle planets. And there's watery planets. And I believe there's desert planets as well. I'm just go looking around. Uh, not there. Where are you? Hmm. Do we lock out this one? Desert's kind of a risky thing. There's desert. And then we can rename your um, like home system. There you go. Like this. There you go. And then ooh, ship status. It tells you where you have um, your ships and where they are, how many. You can then deploy a fleet, change a destination, um, keep track of where your fleets are located. Um, once you have a fleet in a, another system, they can attack. You can also launch star to star missiles, which are a one shot item, and once you use them, they're gone. You can make more, but yeah, it's just it's kind of a risk you take. Um, there's tech levels, which improves weapons and armor and speed. So we'll go ahead and develop. There's a 25% chance. Here's hoping. Pirate news. Uh, this tells you if you get like bonus stuff or if there's been a disaster somewhere. 
Um, so let's go ahead and deploy a fleet. And click the quick fleet will deploy from my home system to this nearby one. So that's like three sectors away. So I'll probably we want to send some lower level stuff. Ooh, too much. Send about half. I don't need that much. It was sent. Yeah, that should do. And then, so we got a fleet here. So yeah, fleet, fleet position. So there we go. There's the fleet. There's the destination. It's there in one turn. The more big ships you use, the longer it's going to take to get to a further away place. And then, yeah, at that point you can just end the turn if you're not going to go anywhere else. And CPU players will go, and you'll be back to production phase. All right. So my production went up from last time. I want to take a look at um, uh, what caused that. Yeah, building up credits is a pain in the butt, which is why you want to get more worlds under your control. So I have to send out fleets. Alright, so there's my fleet. They can attack. Scan. There we go. Look at all that stuff. Oh yeah, let's revisit the home. So yeah, there's population, there's factories. There's the ships that got there. Um... <sighs> This affects your build points, your, and depending on the worlds you have, uh, that affects the growth as well. So yeah, I'm going to launch from there to there. Let's just kind of see what we're up against, just a little bit. This is going to be slow as dirt, sadly. That's fine. And click when it's done. So they lost some fighters. I lost my missiles. The impression I get is they've got the initiative as the defense. But that's why it seems like I lost just a tad bit more. And then attack, fleet, the enemy star. If you manage to be in the same spot as an enemy fleet, um, you can attack the fleet as, instead. Yeah, and then we have a little battle scene. And what's the cost of that? I lost all my fighters and some destroyers, but I knocked out their entire force. They had freaking battle cruisers. That's just, that's crazy. But now, I have. A brand new system with a lot of people. This is gonna probably have a ton of build points, which is gonna be helpful for um, stuff. So, oh, your scientists report a major breakthrough that helped. I'm actually, a tech level one now. The n new cost to develop is fifteen hundred. Still a twenty-five percent chance. It's gonna take a while, but. You know, I've made that progress now. Now it's just time to expand out. Try to hit these ones first. Um, yeah. We'll probably be fighting uh, over this world. I'm probably going to let them have that one. But at some point I need to deal with both of these guys. Um, or they're going to kick my butt. Yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, pretty much the game. You, you build, you move, you fight, you research, and then at the end, someone wins. When, you know, their worlds are wiped out. Um, it's nice to make use of the Star Star missiles just to save 
on losing the troops, but in general, you just kind of have to spend wisely. Um, they just have the worlds to to build up your forces. So there's like uh, an old board game called Stellar Conquest that has that has some adap other adaptations as well that I'd like to check out someday. But for now, this this is a game I had like as a kid as part of a um, one of those discs of like hundred, five hundred, thousand games uh, CDs, and it'd be nice to. And I thought it was nice to find this again. Uh, I feel bad about playing the unregistered version, but it's like from twenty years ago, so kind of missed out on my chance. But I. If I had the chance, I probably I would have gladly paid. You know, um, hopefully, um, you know, something about Space Conquest is just fun as hell. You know, so I'm glad I have this one. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see ya next time. Where do you go? Uh, there we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and quit because. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah, there's limits because of the unregistered version, so. There you go. There you go. I need to set my mouse free. I'll probably end up closing the window. Exit. Yeah. There it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.